it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today for another Simple Stamping Saturday. It's one of my favourite times of the week because I get to bring you three projects, not just one, and they are just stepped up versions of the same thing. So this is the card that we're going to be making together. Uh, it's using the Hand Drawn Blooms stamp set. This is bundled with the Banner Blooms dies, so if you want to get both, you can save 10% on each by using the bundle price. I will have the bundle codes both below and over my website, so don't worry about that. But it is a really beautiful set. Um, it's, it's part of the Artistry Blooms suite, which is on page 130 of your new catalogue. Um, this is the die cut. This is the stamp set, which has been, looks like it's been heat embossed with white. But it is just gorgeous. And this is the stamp set again. So let me show you what I, or how I've made this, and also how I have stepped up the projects. So as ever, we're using note card and envelope, and we always uh, decorate the envelope when it's Simple Stamping Saturday. So I'm using Whisper White. It seemed like the right colour or the right option because we've got Whisper White or Very Vanilla. So as I say, it seemed like the right option for this particular um, set or certainly the way I'm doing it. It would actually make a really lovely sepia option. If you're into sepias, it would be wonderful. Got a hair. Don't want a hair. So let me stamp this. I am the right way up. Yep. Let me stamp this down. It is a large stamp, so you need to give it a lot of welly, particularly in the middle of the stamp, just to make sure that everything has phew, worked. Uh, and then this one, we're going to just have to have the courage of our convictions. So I'm going to ink that up again. And I like it with the bow coming into the bouquet. So all I'm going to do is kind of move it around a bit until I'm reasonably confident that I've got it in the right place. It's not the end of the world if you haven't. Fingers crossed. And there we go. And it has lined up pretty well. It's not going to line up perfectly. And there are ways around. I'm a little bit out here. I can solve that. We'll do that in a minute. But first thing we're going to do. Oh, I need to I need to decorate my envelope. So I always like to leave my memento to dry for a little bit uh, before I do anything too much to it. Um, it's not vital, uh, particularly as what I'm going to be doing is watercolour pencils. So I'm just taking one of the single images and making sure that my envelope is the right way up. I'm just going to stamp that down in the corner. So certainly if I'm going to use blends, I would wait until this was definitely, definitely dry because although blends work really well with Memento, if the ink is not dry, it will smudge because it's wet. But we're not using Memento, uh, we're not using alcohol um, markers. We're using watercolour pencils. This is the first set of watercolour pencils, which also includes black and white, but I've not used those in this project. And this is literally going to be a question of kind of just almost scribbling. So I'm going to be just adding some colour and I'm not going to be precise. I'm just getting some colour down because we are going to use a blender pen, which means that we are going to be able to move the colour around a bit. So precision at this point is not vital. Um, I'm also using the Pacific point for the envelope. And again, I'm just getting some colour down. That's all I'm concerned about. So that's that one. Then Melon Mambo is going to be where what quite a lot of the flowers are going to be. So, yes, that is 
Melon Mambo. It doesn't actually matter if I go differently, but um, it kind of makes sense to do exactly the same because that is kind of the point of this particular part of Simple Stamping Saturday, is I re remake my simple card. Uh, this here is Melon Mambo. And as I say, I am going to tidy this up. It's going to be fine. Um, just trust me, as they say. So I think it's then just these smaller flowers that need... They're not the tiny weeny, just the... Those ones. That's Melon Mambo. That's Melon Mambo. That's Melon Mambo. So do remember that I will have some photos of these on my website. Um, so I will photograph all three of the projects um, and I will list all the items that I've used in the order in which I have used them. Um, the exception will be the bundle because I don't use the bundle on my uh, casual version, but I do use it obviously on my Avid. I say obviously, you don't know yet because I haven't shown you. Um, so that's that. We'll do some Calypso Coral. These were meant to be Calypso Coral, but hey, it doesn't matter. So I'm literally just adding a little bit of colour because we're going to move it around with our blender pen. Anything else that is still available for Calypso Coral? No, nope, that's that. Rich Razzleberry, I went into these splodges here. I don't know what the technical word is for those splodges there, but those are going to be rich razzleberry. And then the daisy that's going up. So the daisy that's coming down, I've done blue like a cornflower. Um, these I'm doing in orange, so pumpkin pie. And those were also, these were Calypso Coral. That was as well. Okay, so I didn't use that. I think the only other ones I've used are those two. So the green, I am literally scribbling down some colour. It's all I'm doing. I'm not following the, the lines particularly. I'm just popping some colour down to get a general effect of greenery. You can, oh, that's where the yellow is. You can spend lots more time, but um, short of watching me color every individual leaf and petal, I've just gone for a general effect. So, and a general effect is fine. It's a bouquet, so you can have layers of color. So don't worry. Just this is a moment to let your let your inhibitions go and just get some colour down. And then the yellow, again, I'm just scribbling here and here. Right. Okay, so blender pen. Not a blend, but a blender pen. I always make sure I've scribbled it off before I start. I'm actually going to do the green first. And all I'm going to do is scribble where the green is, just so that we've got that general effect of, there's greenery. Oh, that's yellow. That's meant to be yellow. So yeah, we just want that general, it's not just flowers, there's greenery as well, look. So this is not precision colouring. And sometimes it's just good for the soul to just scribble. So don't fuss over it. Then clean off and I'm going to do, actually I'll do the yellow next because then I can go straight from the yellow into the orange. So that's the yellow, there's a yellow over here. And then as I say I can go straight into the pumpkin pie and do that. And that. And I don't have to worry too much to then go into my Calypso Coral because it is also an orange shade. 
And then I think that was all my Calypso coral. So now it's basically Melon Mambo. And again, I'm just scribbling. Oh, and I've got to do the Rich Razzleberry as well. So I can do that straight after the Melon Mambo because Rich Razzleberry and Melon Mambo are quite close together. And the Rich Razzleberry is that bit darker. So it will be fine with Melon Mambo on top of it. So into the Rich Razzleberry. And I noticed that I had forgotten to do those bits there. Right, so that is our... Oh, see, I nearly forgot. Well, I did forget and, forget, and then I remembered. So I need to do this. Now, just remember that with the blender pen, you don't want to go into one spot too much um, without letting it dry in between. Otherwise, it will pill the paper. So my canny solution for where things go a little awry is if I can find it it was on my desk just now there it is the black Stampin' Right marker you can buy these on their own and you can just make things a bit darker if you want so the bow thing here I can make a bit darker so it's a more solid image And you don't have to go mad with it. You can just, you know. And then because I've gone a bit short here, I can bring my bow out a bit more. Or my wrap out a bit more. And I can join my lines so that it all joins up just with a black marker. You can use any other black marker as well, but um, I have the Stampin' Right marker, so I'm going to use it. So that is our simple version. One ink pad, watercolour pencils, blender pen, which come in a pack of three. Three will last you a very long time. So there we are. That's that card. This was the one we made earlier, as they say. So for my more casual crafter, I've done basically the same thing, but I've used blends. And then I've used the Stampin' Right marker for Thank You, which is out of the same set. And in fact, I need to just join my lines and come back in with the light Just J, just to pop a bit of colour there so that it looks as if there are stalks going all the way down. So that's that one, as I say. And again, I just scribbled wasn't precision colouring, it was just a scribble, and I've popped it onto a piece of Magenta Madness cardstock and then popped it all up on dimensionals. For my Avid version, I've used the die cut, which is gorgeous. So it is, let me turn it over so you can see it. It is this, it's huge. Um, I die cut it out of watercolour paper, so our Fluid 100 paper, and then using the in colour Stampin' Right markers, scribbled on a block, and with our wonderful new water painters, and I'm going to talk to you about those in a minute, I just moved colour around. Then I stamped again using Stampin' Right markers to ink up. I stamped the um, So Grateful to Have a Friend Like You. It's one stamp, and if you stamp them together, you will get the, um, the two tone. I'm going sorry about that the phone rang and I've been expecting an urgent phone call and that was it so where were we we were talking about this so this I've used the um, water painters on some of our fluid 100 watercolor paper um, and I've just used the Stampin' Right markers to um, so these to scribble color onto a block and then pick it up to blend it round I've used all of the colors because I've got them so why not what I would say about the water painters is it took me a while to get them open because, let me find an aqua painter. Okay, here we are. So an aqua painter, um, you twist it to the right to undo it and to the left to do it up. This, you twist to the left to undo it and to the right to do it up. And because I was expecting it to be the same as an aqua painter, I was tightening it up, trying to loosen the barrel 
So you're going to the right to unloosen it and to the left to tighten it up. But they work really nicely. Um, I have, uh, this was Magenta Madness. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to, the nibs are going to stay as white as the aqua painters. That's time will tell. Um, reds are always difficult for staining. Um, so this was basically the same card as this. I've just done the die cut. Uh, I've popped the die cut up and then I stamped the banner. That's what I was talking about. I've stamped the banner using just the one stamp, which is this one. I coloured with the side of my Stampin' Right marker to get the ink on, stamped it on Whisper White, ran it through the die cutting machine again, and then just trimmed off the bits that weren't banner. So just a little bit of trimming and it's it works really well. So there you are, my three variations on a theme for Simple Stamping Saturday, all with the hand-blown hand blown hand drawn blooms so i hope you've enjoyed that i love this stamp set i think it is beautiful it is it's unusual for me to have bought it because it's a bit of a one trick pony it's that but i don't think it is i think i'm going to have great fun using some of the ideas from the catalog where they've used heat embossing and done things a little differently so i think it's actually going to be more than a one trick pony Anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. Sorry there was an interruption part way through. Um, hopefully I will have spliced it together reasonably well. Um, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I will see you again soon.